Ready to what's happening. We're doing a video today on these Glock 44 magazines from Pro Mag. These are the 18 round mags. Um, can do a lot of shooting today. I think I shot probably 250 or more rounds through those today, um, through just those magazines. And put a lot of rounds down, down range with the 44 today. But wanted to review these, see if they're worth the money. Pro Mag is always hit and miss with magazines. There's a lot of Decent one, there's a lot of bad, bad pro mags, and then there's some decent ones. The Saga 12 mags were always really good for me. So, um, wanted to try them out. I think I paid 16 bucks a piece for them. I'll put a link in the description where I bought them. They had quite a few in stock. Um, the name of the company is escaping me. Um, it's like Magato Tactical or something like that, but I'll put it in the description. But I got two of them just to try them out. Uh, they are made here in the USA, which is great. And they do have very strong springs, guys. I mean, these are 18 round mags, whereas the Glock ones are 10. Now, the Glock ones are 100 times easier to load. I'm going to tell you that. This design of from Glock on these mags to for the follower is genius. Pro Mag decides to make the smallest possible button you can imagine. And this, with the spring tension, it's tough. And when you get, and I'll talk about it more in the video, when you get like 15 rounds in, even then up to 15, it's pretty difficult to get those last few rounds in. So let's go ahead and throw in the footage of the shooting and all the um, all the shooting we did today. And, um, you know, you'll see I had a few malfunctions here and there. One, it was like almost every one in every other mag or something like that. But some of that was not magazine related. Some of that was just 22 ammo not shooting because it's 22 ammo. Or it was uh, a, a problem I've always had with the Glock 44 where the... Um, the round and it does it with these mags too so it could be a gun thing i don't know where the the round kind of juts up like this and gets caught in the slide i don't really know what to call it but um yeah that's the issue that i've been having i've been having it with these mags the glock mags but here's a comparison just so you can see um of these two magazines in the gun the pro mag sits sticks out a little farther whereas the the glock one is flush but they definitely did a good job, I think, for these, for the money. They function enough that, um, and they're not, you know, it's one, like, some mag would go flawlessly, all 18 shots. And then I, and I never had more than one malfunction in one mag, though, ever. So, not bad, especially for the money. So, watch the, uh, watch the footage, we'll come back to the table. All right, let's load these guys up. This is the one thing that I'm not a fan of so far is the loading. The springs are very stiff and you have to do essentially one bowl at a time. And once you get to like 15 rounds, You'll start to really have a hard time. So there's 15. So 
So that I'm at 17, and that last round is not. I mean, yikes. Yeah, that's going to... Someone needs to make a speed loader for these things to get 18 rounds in there. You can do it. But as you can see, once you get to 15, now, the, the, I'm assuming the springs will break in a little bit, be a little less stiff. I would even say they're starting to um, already. So far, I've had two failures to feed out of two, six magazines worth of ammo. It's not bad. And it's a good way to practice malfunctions, right? And I'm just shooting the Winchester white box stuff. It's been flawless out of the clock. Notice I did take the red dot off um, just to, because it, with the red dot on there, it has a little bit higher malfunction rate with um, slower velocity ammo. And so, and most people won't shoot it like that. So I wanted to, you know, make sure that the magazines weren't being blamed for malfunctions when that wasn't, wasn't really the magazine's fault kind of thing. So look at that. To get that last round, I got to really pull that down, slide it on there. So let's do some more shooting. But so far... For the money, sixteen dollars, eighteen round mags, two malfunctions out of six mags, six times eighteen. Do the math. That's actually not bad. So let's continue to do some more shooting. Didn't hit record. Failure to feed. That is not the mat. Well, that could be the magazine's fault. Actually, it could go either way on that one. So one malfunction there, but it's done that on the Glock mags where. If that first round in that chamber, that mag isn't straight up, it like it gets hung up. That's happened a few times on this gun, and it happens on the Glock mags as well. So, well, count it as a malfunction. It was magazine related, in my opinion. I don't know. It could be feed ramp. It could be a few things. So, that's three malfunctions in eight mags. So I loaded these a little less than eighteen. I think one out of seventeen. One out of sixteen. The last couple rounds were just fair to get in, see if the felt fell off. Doing some broken work. Wow. What's that magazine think? Okay. Another failure to feed. Well, this. I'll show you what it is. But this happens on this gun without these mags even. So we'll just rack it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's bent. Well, that's a bad one. It's like stuck in there. There it goes. malfunctions there one on that it's 10 mags through four malfunctions not bad all right i'm gonna do two more with the winchester and switch up the handles a little bit
get around in there that I don't attribute to the magazine, just the gun, the ammo, cheap 22 rimfire. So again, one malfunction with feeding uh, nose up. Again, that's happened without these mags. So what is that? 12 magazines times 18. All right, next we're gonna try some uh, Federal American Eagle. This is round nose, not hollow points. Uh, all that Winchester stuff was hollow points. So see if this feeds. I just had a random box in my range bag. So if the, hey, why not? See if it shoots any or feeds any differently. So it seems to be like that round nose ammo didn't change anything. Still had that feed issue where it goes bullet up. Um, block mags do that also, like I mentioned. So that's what, 14 mags? And it seems to be every other mag is a malfunction. Well, yeah, roughly every other mag is one malfunction. Dude, that's not a big deal. Totally worth it, I think, for the, I think I paid $16 a piece. You get at least, I mean, technically get eight more rounds. Um, I find loading those last three kind of almost not worth it. <laughs> so I load 15, 16 usually, but... Um, you can definitely get all 18 in. It's just kind of a, a pair, a bear to do it. Um, but overall, I mean, worth it for the money. 16 rounds, good for practicing drills. Again, the Glock 44 has been a fantastic purchase. I've got, man, how many rounds? A couple thousand, I think, through it now. Um, no slide cracks or anything like that. The people have found runs really well for me. So with the Glock mags and even with these Pro mags, so I might shoot a little bit more through these and then call it and move on to the nine millimeter. So we'll see, stay tuned. All right, I'll do a couple more mags. This is CCI Blazer, also round nose, not hollow point. kind of funny right every other mag almost one malfunction next mags perfect so 16 mags i'm not gonna do the math i'll figure it out later <laughs> it's a good amount of ammo spent it's 22 which is nice um i have a ton of it and but yeah i think the pro mags are worth it for sure because 16 bucks you get to shoot a little bit longer they function pretty well honestly like I said, I've had some of those similar tip, like where the nose f flares up. I've had that same issue with the Glock mags. So uh, that could be feed ramp related, not necessarily um, magazine related also. But as far as like feeding rounds into the chamber, I had two times, I think, in all these rounds where it didn't even do that. It just didn't even feed it. So that's not bad. That's pretty good success rate, I think, especially for the $16 magazine you pay and having a little extra rounds at the range is good times. So I think they're definitely worth the money. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, definitely worth it. Check out the description below for the link to buy these guys. I would definitely recommend them for the money. I think they're good training aids. They're um, obviously hold eight more rounds than the Glock mags. Glock mags are still better, but... Uh, the only thing I would really love to change is the, the string. I think the springs will break in over time. And this, if they made these buttons bigger, that's one thing that works really well in these Glock mags. You've got this huge button. With these being so stiff, it's hard to get. You, I mean, it's a little tiny surface area there. You're really pushing down. And someone needs to make a loader for those things. And then, then they'd be awesome. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.